What's up you guys, it's Jose Zaniga from Teaching Men's Fashion and today I'm really gonna help you boys out and the four girls that watch my show. Today I'm gonna show you how to look better in pictures. So today's video is brought to you by, by our partner The Fifth Watches. You guys know the deal, The Fifth Watches is our partner. It's a great watch company that produces really beautiful and quality watches at a very, very affordable price. And they always hook us up every week with a specific discount code only for you guys. So they help us produce content. And on top of that, they also always try to help us give you guys discounts when it comes to their watches. So if you guys have been in the market for a watch or for The Fifth Watches in particular, I'm gonna have them linked below with a special discount code just for you guys so you can check them out. So all that stuff is gonna be in the description below. So we live in the age of social media and camera and technology and it's about sharing and with your friends and family, you're really putting yourself out there. And if you're camera shy, it kind of sucks because it's really hard to avoid a camera. You'll either get caught in a group picture or maybe your LinkedIn profile picture, whatever it is, you're gonna need to take at least one good picture in your life and I'm gonna help you do that. So on average for you guys, when I compile lookbooks, when I'm styling outfits to show you how to wear things, I take anywhere from like 200 to like 400 pictures a week. So I've kind of already gotten the feel of what looks best on camera. So the first one, Find your pose, your signature pose. If you look at a lot of my pictures, almost all of them look identical because I have narrowed down the poses, the couple poses that I feel always look good on pictures. Once I'm editing, I always like those specific poses on me. And that's because every person has their specific side and has their good side, which it could be that it makes you look slimmer, maybe it makes you look taller, maybe it makes you look more muscular. Whatever the reason is, find your pose and stick to it and you'll see that consistently your pictures are going to look better kind of following that same tip one tip two would be find the right face gesture because this is very important if your face gesture is off the whole picture is going to be bad so there's a lot of emotions that you can portray through a camera whether it be you're happy or sad or angry or mysterious so find something that you always like and again stick to that so for example for me the serious face, no can do. I look too serious, I look stuck up, and I look stuffy. The smirk or the mysterious face, no can do. I look cringy as heck. And then finally, the one that I've noticed that works the best always on me is just laughing. Genuinely laughing. And I try to have fun with my photo shoots because inadvertently when I'm laughing, it's more genuine and my pictures tend to come out better over time so if you see a lot of my pictures i'm always smiling i'm always laughing i'm always showing my teeth because that's what works for me tip number three lighting lighting is everything and it's very important and for this one i'm going to give you a quick little task to do go to your bedroom or a room where there's a window with natural sunlight coming in so let's say here's the window you want to turn away from the window and take a picture of yourself say a selfie right take a picture then just turn around face the nitro light and take a picture of yourself i can guarantee you without a doubt that the picture that you used with the natural light facing yourself will look 10 times better no doubt so whenever you can and you're taking a picture try to grab some natural light or face natural light and you will see that your pictures are going to look better all right so tip number four is something called the rule of thirds now this is something that a lot of artists and photographers use to add a little bit more interesting appeal to their image or portrait whatever it is that they're working on and essentially what that means is that you as a subject try not to be in the exact center of your picture so don't place yourself in the center instead in your head break up that picture into thirds and either place yourself in the first third or the last third and this will create like i said in the beginning a more interesting appeal to the photograph all right guys so the fifth and final tip is all about posture and posture is very crucial in pictures if you slouch or you have a hunchback this will be severely brought out in a picture and it's just not going to look appealing so especially when you're taking a picture, what you wanna do is you wanna push your shoulders back and down. What this is gonna do is it's gonna elongate your neck and also square out your shoulders, giving you a more appealing posture. All right guys, so that's it for this week's video. If you follow those five rules, I can guarantee you that consistently your pictures are gonna start getting better and before you know it, every single picture you take is gonna start looking good. So that's it for this week's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit up that like up button down below, it really helps me out. Also remember to share this video so we can reach and teach more men. That's it for me in this video. See you next time.